Hey everyone, welcome back to another Venus Ninja episode where today this is the fifth building tutorial. Now, I'm pretty sure it's been a long time since I've made a building tutorial. So, this is what the house looks like. Uh, right, where is it? Right here. Um, I'm pretty proud of it now. Here is the story behind it. I used to think that medieval and rustic were pretty much the exact same thing. Now I know that they're similar, but very different. Here's an example of the first medieval build in tutorial. The first medieval build in tutorial. Now here we have the first floor, pretty spacious. Second floor, again, pretty spacious. And storage spaces. Then we have the third floor, which is the bedroom. Where you can't really sleep, but you have storage spaces here. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's go back down. This is what we're going to be building today. So let's get right to it. The material you're going to need for this build is stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, spruce stairs, spruce logs, stripped oak wood, uh, logs or wood. Did this actually just happen? Now what's happening? Oh my god, the ground is wet. Like, actually. Alright, we're gonna live with that for some time. So, we're gonna need stripped oak log, glass panes, spruce planks, cobblestone stairs, spruce fences, grass blocks, any flowers, any flower of your choice, and an oak, and oak trap door. Let's start with the first step. This is going to be the bottom right corner. So go ahead, or the closest to you, closest to you, bottom right corner. Go ahead and place in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That should get you a 9, a 13 by 9 structure. Next step is to raise this by three blocks. All right, so now what you're going to need your, oh, I forgot to list. You're also going to need a door. So let me just quickly add that to the list. Alright. Oak door. Next, you're going to want to place in your spruce stairs in this fashion. take in your mossy stone bricks, cobblestone, and start randomizing it inside the stone bricks. I'm not going to do that because time is money, and that takes a lot of time. But you want to have something that looks something similar to this. If you have world edit, then you can use that as a randomized feature. If you don't know how to do that, I'm pretty sure it's slash slash replace stone bricks with stone bricks, cobblestone, stone brick, or uh, no, mossy stone bricks, then, oh, I spelled mossy wrong, um, mossy cobblestone. I think that is how you do it, and you're also going to need to get your axe and select positions, like, that is position one, and that would be position two. I can do a world edit tutorial later if you guys want me to do that. Leave it down in the comments below, unless comments is turned off. Which it brings me on to the next thing I want to tell you guys about. So, 
Venus Ninja Plays has opened up a new Discord server. It is called the Venus Ninja Plays Discord server. And in order to join this Discord server, you need to type in this link. That'll take you to the Venus Ninja Plays Discord server where you can chat with me and give me ideas and all sorts of things. And maybe if I need your guys' help, I can communicate with you on the Discord server. Now, enough chat, let's get right to the next step. What you're gonna need is some spruce logs for this step. One, two, three, four. On every corner, place in four spruce logs, similar to what I'm doing right now. Good, good, good. Next, you're gonna wanna place in four here, here, and you're gonna wanna place in four four here, four here, and here, and here, and here. Now listen closely because this step might become a little bit, I don't know. You're going to want to place in spruce logs like that just so we can generate a window. Then on here you want to generate this sort of a structure. Just try to follow what I'm doing. This is going to be a little bit repetitive, but it'll be worth it. So now you get a shape that looks similar to this, except you would have randomized the bottom. Then you're going to want to take in your, your stripped oh, uh, for a better for a better look, you're going to want to use wood, but in fact, I'm going to use logs because then you're gonna wanna place in something like I think. Same thing goes for this side. This is a pretty expensive build, this medieval build, but I say it's quite worth it when you can show this to your friends and uh, make it and it'll look good in like pretty much wherever you build it. That is the one thing that's amazing about this kind of build. Which is why I'm quite happy with how this turned out. So now you should have something that looks similar to- Oh, forgot to do this side. Now you should have something that looks similar to this. And what you're going to want to do next is just place in- Oh, the stripped oak logs there and there simply now time to do some flooring what you're gonna want to do is get your spruce planks and just fill in all of this with your flooring which is gonna be spruce planks now I'm gonna be using the slash fill command for this just to make things easier but your end product should be the same. Now, forgot to do this, choose the front of your build, which is this, and dig that up. And if you really want to, you can do that right now. You can just place in your oak door, like so. And boom! Already your house is looking pretty good. You're also gonna have to take your flooring and do the exact same thing here. go now with all these windows go ahead and place in your glass panes and make it look good because every house pretty much needs a window have you ever seen a house without a window and if so did it look good because chances are the answer to both those questions will be no what I tell you, a house without windows looks trash. Now that everything is in place, you're gonna wanna extend all the logs one more. This, I didn't do this before because that might confuse a lot of people because you want this to be in line and then you want this to be extended. I hope that made sense because I'm not sure it did. Now from the corners, you're gonna want to place in a line to the other corner and 
again to this corner. Line back here. So you get this with your spruce planks as well. Then you're gonna wanna fill in what you've made. And already this place is looking like a home. Now go ahead and cover up these with spruce planks. There we go! Now the first floor is complete. The second floor is pretty complete. Now time to go for the third floor. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. I wanted the third floor to be a little bit smaller than the rest of the floor, so Go in the middle, go in between the corners, and place in four. There, in between these, place in one more of these. In between them, cool, cool. Here, you're gonna wanna place in that. Do the same on the other side. These are going to be the foundations for your third floor. And your third and final floor. Go ahead and connect them all. Alright. And wherever you see a 3x3 three three space, go ahead do this. You guys should be pretty familiar. We're going to be using spruce, not spruce, oak, stripped oak logs in this sort of format to create some beautiful windows. something that I believe is quite important, the roof. We're gonna be taking the care of that later. In between these windows, you know what you need to add? You need to add the actual glass. So, if you're building this in survival, it's pretty expensive because of the amount of wood it'll take and the amount of cobblestone, but it's not nothing like expensive as in something that's rare. It's just the things that aren't rare, you're gonna need a lot of it. So it's gonna take time to farm, time to get, time to you know, make this house because it's quite big and we're gonna be using a lot of flowers and trap doors are not cheap. I don't know who designed them, but they're expensive for what they are and what they do. Now with the two types of stairs, you have cobblestone stairs and spruce stairs. You're gonna wanna do this with your cobblestone stairs, basically just this. And well, by the way, you're gonna wanna also take in the spruce fence and over here, just place in spruce fences just like that and on the other side do not do the sides just front and back don't do the sides like this okay now this place is looking like a home what you're gonna want to do is along this you're gonna want to place in your cobblestone stairs so that it extends out by one and then, here you're going to want to make a roof like this so that they meet up. Well, they won't actually meet up. You'll see why. Here's why. You see, we can't really do something here. Which is why you're going to want to place in a block like that. That is how to finish it off. And do the same on the other side. There we go. And now, last 
last but not least, uh, actually not last but not least, you're going to want to take in some stripped oak logs and your spruce logs and go ahead and follow with me. You're going to want to place in your spruce logs so that it's just one short from there, I'm in the middle only, one short, and then like a stairwell, do it so that it's one short every time so it looks something like that. Same way. Same way. The same on both sides. And now take a spruce stairs and just connect it all up. I just fell down. That's not a good start. By the way, after you've got this done, leave um leave the middle section. Just leave it. Just skip it and go on this part. I did not mean to do that. You just need to get the roofing in place. If someone were to ask me what is my least favorite part of building a house, my answer would straight up be roofing because it is not only time consuming, it's super hard to place in the blocks where you want it. And yeah, the bigger the roof, the worse life is for you. Which is why small houses are good. And on the top section you want to place in your spruce planks like so. And again, you want to place in two layers. Now why? Because on this, on the inside, you're gonna to want to place in your spruce planks like this. No, your spruce stairs like this. I don't know if you can see this, so I'm gonna quickly grab a potion of night vision you should be able to see it but if not here This is your third floor. You can add your stairwell wherever you want it. I'm not gonna really add one, but this is pretty much how it is. This is the main part of your house, and to be honest, it looks quite cool, if you ask me. I have to say, I need to get rid of that, but this is the main part of your house complete. Let's move on to the second part, which is just decoration with this, this, and this. I use multiple types of tulips. Like for example, white for the ground, red for the top, I mean red for the middle, and, and pink for the top. But I'm just gonna be using red for this one. And also grab yourself some windows because we didn't do that for the first layer. I wanted to do that when we were gonna do the flowers and decorations because you'll see why. First off, you're gonna want to add windows in the way I do. Add windows like that. On the back, you're gonna want to add it like this. Two, three, two. Fill that in with glass panes. The bottom layer is supposed to be ham hammered with uh, windows. You're supposed to have windows inside. Okay, now that there's a bunch of windows here, you're gonna wanna take in your grass and place it in the way I'm placing it. surround each of these grass that you placed with trapdoors. And the same goes for this. And for the final side. supposed to be okay there we go now here you can just place in your tulips wherever you see the grass that you place 
place in your tulips or whatever flower you want. I just chose tulips because they look pretty good. You can go poppy, you can go cornflower, you can go dandelion, I, I don't care. Because this build is so good that it can accompany any type of flower you put. Now for the second layer, you're gonna to wanna to put some grass blocks like this. that and flowers flowers next you're gonna want to do it on the back as well la, 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 la. for the top layer you're gonna want to place in your grass here That's it for this building tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. And now let's see how it looks like with interior on and with the messy wall. The messy wall just adds some sort of variety to the wall. And as you can see, this place looks really comfortable and cozy. And it looks really good on the outside. I think this, this build is perfect for anything or any design you want to build it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and share it with everyone that you think will love this build or loves Minecraft in general. Share this video with them. I hope they like it as well. And anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, please do subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, press that post notification button. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, everybody.